Ignatius487 here, and welcome back to Black Flag. Uh, we are, I'm on the ship, I've climbed up the, the balustrade, or whatever it's called, the, the rope ladder stuff, <coughs> to get up into such a, a spot whereby I can air assassinate. So here we go. Come on, man. Boop. You remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just. Oh, I'm turning it down. As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. Yeah. I'm sorry about this. Trying to get too much. You telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around? I beat you, Bukeli. After all, you have to. I showed you of our order. You embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless hog. Ah. What's this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind yeah. to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires He's a pirate. Abolished, he needs no extra world without parasites like you. Reason? Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. May the hell you find be of your own making. <sighs> I win! <coughs> Did we get the, the Galleon? Is ours! Nice. I didn't say out of combat. Yeah, I didn't really. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we'll rate it. This one was, was, was really good. I liked it immensely. It was cool. <laughs> oh. Ow. Oh. A pirate's life for me. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. We pillage, we plunder, we rifle and loot, drink up, me hearties, yo ho. Hey, hey. We kidnap and ravage and don't give a hoot. Something? A little welcome gift? Hi. We give awards to our top notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour? Of course. I'll pass it on. What? Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. Exciting. Tasty pants. We'll do. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first timers, so nom, we nom, had the nom. tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. I have no such waypoint. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. Olivier? He's a nice guy, eh? Well, no. I don't think that would be good. It's not a good idea. Reach the CCO's office. Whoa-ness. Hello? Hi? Testing. Testing. Okay. We met earlier. I was calibrating your animus. Yeah. Scotty of this Abstergo Enterprise, in charge of all the tech stuff. Do you have a minute? Oh, ah, oh. oh, damn it. The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Ah, all right. I'll oh, pay you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. Cool. Sure thing. I like these paintings, they're nice. Uh -huh. Do you have any sticky notes? Olivier said to go right in. Nah. Do some exploring first. Nice. 
Zombie based entertainment products continue to shamble toward the finishing. I'm not nervous, no. I'm not finished either. What's this? Fire hose. National security. Security level. Cool. like a this bound to be a sticky note in here oh chill out automated bathroom doors that's pretty badass anyway nifty house whoa Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. I'm not favorite ninjas and cowboys. Will pirates come from behind for a surprise victory? Wait, wait. Exactly. exactly. Zombie stuff would be amazing. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Lexia. Hello. Hi. Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. Yeah. So I review. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. Okay. Wow. Where the hell are we? Beautiful city, no? Yeah. So the main reason. I asked Concerns is something called the observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. Right. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, <coughs> I wouldn't bother. But some big wigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So follow whatever leads you find, and hopefully we can. Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Reach my workstation. Cool. Oh, oui, bien sûr. Bon, d'accord. Good, okay. Oh, oui, bien sûr. Oh, he just keeps repeating the same deal, little yo there, huh? Is that a, some sort of... Nah. Bon d'accord. Bon d'accord! <coughs> been cool if they'd have given him a, uh... You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map, so... Uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file. She promised me. This I hate just about everyone else on your floor. I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. Okay, I bet this IT guy is an assassin. Now please be snappy. Find a reason to hate you too. Yeah, that's what I think. We'll find out. La, la, la. A locked door. Not a problem. <coughs> the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now you do abuse it. Lock Too late. Off, I'll walk you through this. Stick 
sticky notes. Oh, Abstergo. Some badass looking pirate yo's, man. Alright, just chill out. I've got to finish exploring. Is that a. Uh, no, it's better. Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> no. I'm looking for that. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Hello. Yeah. Fabulous. I don't know what the purpose of the sticky notes is yet. Assuming there is one, of course. There may not. Maybe there will not be one. Now, you need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Your communicator was downloaded automatically. You need to find your way around the corridor to reach the data inside. Uh, what am I trying to get to? You cracked it. Good. The file oh. should be downloaded. I set up a database for any data you find. Just look for the My File section in your communicator, and you'll be redirected right away. Everything you download will be found in there. Okay. I'm protected by a firewall, of course. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. Yeah. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death is placed around zero hundred hours and seven minutes, with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent skill of this talent. team, we were able to capture useful data. Interesting. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. Okay. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. Right. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. <laughs> we then commenced <clears throat> material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Huh. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease. Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17, 17 will continue, continue uninhibited as Sample 17. That's kind of messed up. Cool. Computers hacked. One of thirty-three. Funny right there. <gasps> well, well. I am not sure I can keep this up, you know? This job is well, well below my skill level. Yeah, well, your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. Nice. No, no, no. I the Sean. To the letter. It's Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after <coughs> all, you're just incredibly rude. You made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. <coughs> you limey. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Sure. Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. 
Take care, Sean. Bye bye, yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? <laughs> I like it. Wonderful, you're a miracle. I like it a lot. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. Pirating, yes. Fabuloso. That's character level two, of which I have no access. Naturally. Is this also two? Is this one? It's three. Cool. I can kind of see where this is going. Uh, at least in the with with regard to uh, me working for the assassins and all that. <coughs> I wonder how I can know. Assistance au niveau 2, projet échantillon 17. Support to the second floor sample 17 project. Oh. Okay. It's a little weird. Weirdo McWeirdy pants. Okay. Gotcha. This is level one. I have access to. I reckon we'll play around in non pirate land for for a little bit just to get to get a feel to make sure that we have hacked and <gasps> Oh, I see. Nice. Okay. I got gotcha. you. How many? What's the deal? Oh, okay. It's just so that you can go. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I have now resumed the practice of dressing as a man. As a man. I have put off stress. my woman's dress. Why did you take it? Who made you take it? I took it of my own free will, with no constraint. I prefer a man's dress to a woman. You made that oath, Jeanne. You swore to never again dress as a man. <laughs> I never meant to swear that I would not resume the practice. Why have you done so? Because it is more lawful and suitable for me to return to the practice of wearing a man's dress. Being always a man. man than to have a woman's dress. I have resumed it. How is he? Our three, doing well. Are we still in 18th century Hungary? No. His connection is so stable, he's jumped between a few ancestors today. We're in huh. 15th century France now. Turns out he's related to one of Joan of Arc's executions. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, Eileen, yesterday Vidic asked me to help him work out some of the bugs in his audiovisual renderer, and I told him... No, no, no. Come on, Satish, not you. It wouldn't be permanent. A, a few months at most. Months? That will kill every ounce of momentum we have. It won't, I promise. Honestly, I think this could oh. help us. If, if I can get a look at what these people are doing, we could... Come on. He's trying to pull you over to his side. Don't you see that? He's so luring you with quick victory and prestige. prestige. Shh. That's not what this is about, honestly. I need to get back honestly. to work. Honestly. I'm sorry. Do what you must. I'll survive. Huh. This is very intriguing. Ok. 
Okay. Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 32, Two, April 2nd, 2nd 1981. 1981. Host, Host Eileen Bach. DNA sample SB1970. Miriam, are you awake? What? Miriam, they're coming for me. Who is? The guards? I see them from my window, amassing in the courtyard. My, my time, time is, is up. Vassal, don't say this. You don't know that. Forgive me for this, Miriam. But I must tell you something. Tell you something. It's not fact. The artifact. We have it. But only Oscar, Oscar and I know its location. Don't tell me. So we will release you. Your family has connections. You must take the artifact and bring it to the assassin in Paris. Please don't. I don't want to know. It's safe. That would be kind don't. of a cool game. Now, Playing Paris as, as guide, assassins and stuff. Its location, That'd be pretty nifty. Bring it to the assassins. Assassins? I don't understand. The spy of St. Petrus. No, I don't want to hear. Sam, seven. Seven. Oh, you mustn't. Cool. Hello? Eileen, hi. It's Carl. Carl, I know it's you. Sorry, you just sound exhausted. Did I wake you? Did I wake No, no, I'm... I've just been busy. It sounds like it. I'm just a little tired, that's all. No, I mean, your your project sounds fascinating. Your colleague, oh. Dr. Warren Vidic, he called Vidic. me recently and he told me what you've been up Vidic's to. Vidic's a douche. Hey, what? Warren? Yeah, he told us about your research, memories, ancestry, memories, ancestry all of that. He even asked if we'd be willing to come in and... No! Jesus, no! What the hell is he doing? Eileen, it's okay. We signed some, some papers, papers non-disclosure stuff. stuff. No! He's trying to fuck me over! Damn it! Eileen, we just talked about my <laughs> mother. Just like you and I did. World War II. That's all. It's the artifact. The what? Carl, if he calls you again, you tell him you work through me, okay? That's it. Vidic has been a pain in my ass for years. And I don't need him getting all the glory for my two years of hard work. All right. Uh, so, how should I go about this? I mean, the wheels are in motion. I... Hmm. I don't know. Just go through me if he contacts you again. Please? All right. You'll do that? Of course. Yes. Thank you, Carl. I'm sorry I was sorry, short, I was with, short you. with you. I've just been exhausted. That's all. It's all right, hon. Just, just take care of yourself. <laughs> Morning, Goodness Eileen. gracious. We're almost small. ready. Just a few more adjustments. Hmm. Okay. I had the team do some research on this artifact we've been chasing, and it appears that Holbrook actually found something matching its description sometime in 1940. 1940? Are you all right? Sorry, yeah, I'm fine. Just a little scattered. Biddick called my ex-husband last night. He wants to put him in the Animus. To find the artifact before us? Exactly. Well, it would be fast using Biddick's Animus. You're not related. Maybe that would get us back to our original world. Or Satish, maybe you are related, which is kind of messed up. up. <coughs> Lillian is paying for us to find the artifact, not improve our methods. Do you understand? Right, of course. I'm sorry. Let's just, let's just burn those bridges when we cross them. Are we ready? Yes, just a few more adjustments, Senori. Hmm. I made a small change to the genetic input modulator. I'm hoping that buys us a few more minutes. Even a few seconds would be nice. I'm ready. All right. Settle in. Cool. Ah, red means we've already hacked it. Nifty. That's quite convenient. <coughs> it's just another one of those security things. That's pretty easy, really. Bypassing standard security. Connection successful. You're all going to die down here. Okay, uh, it's been a few weeks since the last recording. Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. Oh, okay, this okay. is cool. Yes, it's just a few seconds for you. Right. Uh, we're out of time for this video. So, until next time, Bumblebee Tuna. <laughs>